In this video, I'll tell you about how Lev Vygotsky describes how children develop the, through thinking and, and learning. And so he is also, just like Piaget, focused a lot on cognition. And his is, is more focused and geared towards learning, um, I guess you could say, but very similar. So Lev Vygotsky says by about age seven, children are thinking a lot and and processing language and words and internalizing speech and language and, and thinking even in, with language in their thoughts. And so um, that's what he says happens by about age seven, thinking with thoughts um, and internalizing language in their thoughts. Um, also, he uses the term scaffold, and scaffold is a term that you need to know. A scaffold is just a, a support tool. So just like you think of a scaffold when someone is doing painting or construction, they're using that, that support to stand and get themselves higher to where they couldn't stand on the ground by themselves. A scaffold is a tool that helps a child learn in a place where they might not be able to learn on their own. And so the scaffold is just a support tool to get them there to learn and to grow and to support them. Um, some examples of scaffolds might be um, if someone is learning how to do a back bend and they can't do it by themselves, um, someone would go and support their back and would hold their back so that they could bend over without falling and hitting their head, but someone could support them. That's a scaffold. It's supporting them and it's a tool to help them so that they can do um, what they need to do um, that they might not be able to do on their own. Um, in school, a scaffold at a, in a high school level might be um, a study guide or a graphic organizer or um, an essay uh, like an essay outline, but it's a tool to get a student to do something that might be kind of challenging that they might not be able to do on their own, and it's just a tool to help them um, get to that place that they need to do. And then the fine thing, the the final thing is the ZPD, the zone of proximal development, and it's um, the place at which. Uh, learning occurs and the place at which learning occurs or the place where the best learning occurs is right outside what you can do but not far enough to where you can't do it um, and so here, here's how this happens so if it's something you can do well you're not learning um, and if it's something you can't do, it's too hard for you to do by yourself, well then you're not learning either because you just get, um, it's too hard to even attempt it. It's way out of grasp or reach, but the ZPD is right in the middle. It's the point where you can't really do it by yourself, but it's not too out of grasp. It's the point at which you can get a little support, you can have a scaffold, you can have someone sit with you and kind of guide you through. Um, it's what you can do with help. That's the ZPD. So you're growing because you can't do it on your own. And it's not the point at which is way too hard where you just get exhausted, but it's just that perfect place for learning to occur, the ZPD. Um, just outside what you can do and what you can't do is the ZPD. Okay, those are the things that you need to know for Lev Vygotsky and his ideas of cogn cognitive development, scaffolding, um, and the ZPD.